Hey you guys, um, I just wanted to talk to you a little bit before this next video. This is going to be a workout for anyone who's had a baby recently. So this could be, for instance, you've got your clearance from your doctor, it's been about six weeks, maybe less if you're really in shape during your pregnancy, and you wanna get back into working out. So this is a routine that you can do, uh, it's pretty gentle, we do get our heart rate up, we do use a little bit of resistance, but it's built mainly around strengthening your core and building back up some strength in your back, your shoulders, and the larger muscles in your legs. So without further ado, let's get going. I've got two pieces of equipment. I've got a stool. This is my Ikea stool. I use it for all kinds of step ups and things. We're gonna do an exercise where you step onto the stool and you step back down. So you can use something like this or maybe something a little bit lower. Anything stable, kitchen stools are good. Um, so you need something like this and you need a mat. So get your mat, get your stool and come on back. start with a plank walkout. So plank is what we call this position, but we're starting up here. So what you do is you're going to roll down through your spine, keeping your legs straight, knees are locked, walk your hands out, keeping your legs straight the whole time, come to a plank position, you're not sagging, your butt's not up in the air, you're nice and firm, your tummy is tucked, and then walk your hands back up to your feet and then back out again. So this is called a plank walkout, and we're gonna do about 10 of these. It's a great exercise, warms up your whole body. You're using your shoulders, you're using your chest, you're using your core and your lower back to keep yourself stable. Go as slow as you want. Keep your knees straight, your legs straight the whole time. You're gonna feel this in a stretch in the backs of your legs. About four. Try to keep yourself stable. Don't try not to let your butt set, butt wag around. Try to keep it quiet. Let's do two more. Should be feeling your shoulders at this point. Last one. Okay, good. Come on down on your mat onto one hip. So we're gonna do side plank. We're going to reach through and what this does, really going to challenge our core here. This is also safe if you've had any issues with diastasis recti after your delivery, which means that you might have a separation here in your rectus abdominis. If you have that condition and your doctor has diagnosed you with that, this exercise is considered safe for that condition. As your stomach, as your abdominal muscles heal, you can get stronger and do different variations, but just so you know, this is a safe, a safe exercise for you. So side plank knees, we're gonna come up on our knees and our elbow. So we're looking at the elbow is directly underneath my shoulder. If you can, if your shoulders feel strong enough, come up onto a straight arm, okay? We're gonna start on our knees. It's a little bit easier. As you progress with the exercise, you can do straight legs come up into this position. There, I lost my balance. Straight legs into that position there, okay? I'm gonna do it on my knees today. So, I'm gonna do it on my arm, on my hand, and on my knees. I'm gonna come up into a plank, raise one arm up, and as I exhale, I'm gonna pull that arm through the space between my other arm and the mat, and come back up. I'm gonna do this 10 times. So as you curl in, really feel yourself pulling in. Exhale as you come down, inhale as you come up. Five, five more. You feel like this is straining your shoulder, your shoulder starts to get tired, come down on your elbow. 
continue. You'll get the same benefit to your core. Two more. And last one. Good. Okay. Next, we're gonna get our stools. So I'm gonna move this mat back. Bring in our stool. What we're gonna do is we're gonna step up onto that stool with my right leg. Step back down with my right leg. We're gonna do 10 on each side. Okay? So get ready. Feel nice and strong. Yeah, well, as you start, just so you know, stand far enough back. You don't wanna stand right up close to it because it's a little bit harder on your legs. Stand farther back. The farther back you stand, you're gonna get more of an emphasis on your glutes. So here we go. Step up, right leg back down. Right leg up, right leg down. Three. We're gonna do this 12 times. Four, five, down. If you can't go this fast, that's okay. But I am thinking about my pace because I do want my heart rate to go up. Seven, eight, nine. My back is strong, my abs are tight. 10, two more, 11. Well, and we're going to switch sides. Start with your left leg. One, two, three. Did you feel your heart starting to go? You want to lose baby weight? You have to challenge yourself. Walking is great. Jogging is better. Stretching is good. Lifting weights is better. You have to burn more calories. Let's do three more. You gotta work harder. Two. Last one. Good. Okay. Move your stool to the side. We're gonna keep our heart rate up. We're gonna do some jumps. So, you're gonna jump to one leg, kick the other leg back. So it looks like this from the side. Jump, kick, jump, kick back, jump, Kick back, switch legs, and kick. Really flex that kicking foot, aim with your heel, okay? Try to keep up your pace, stay with me. I'm gonna do this for about 50 seconds. Keep your breathing. Try not to let it get the best of you. Kick, kick, really punch back with that heel. Imagine there's some jerk behind you. Just give him a little kick. A few more. About 10 seconds to go. And we're done. Okay. Last one in this series. We're gonna do X squats. So, feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, touch the floor, keep your chest up high, and come out and X. Here we go, 12 times. Two, three. If you can't quite touch the floor, that's okay. Make sure your back is straight. Your chest is high. Five, six, let's say 10 or 12. Seven, I don't remember, we'll do 12. Eight, nine, 10, 11, last one, 12, good, okay. Take some water if you need to. We're gonna go back and do those last three exercises one more time. So, starting with the step ups. Get your stool ready. We're gonna start again on the right leg. And here we go. Then on each side, right leg up, right leg down. Head on the right side, turn on the left side. Four. Again, lateral 
Double jumps. Ready, go. Kick. Kick to the back. Kick to the back. Kick to the back. The wider you're jumping here, the harder it's gonna be. Also, you can jump higher. Kick. Makes it a little bit harder. If you want, keep your jumps low. Just starting out. It starts to get difficult. Keep your jumps low and small. Challenge yourself. Go wider, go higher. That's the intensity factor for you. It's there if you need it. So challenge yourself. You'll be glad you did. A few more seconds. Two, one. Yofi, great. Okay, I just spoke Hebrew. Yofi means great. We say it all the time. Okay, here we go. Squat X's. Touch the floor. X. Touch the floor. X. Keep your chest high. Don't let your knees drift in. Four. Five. Seven. Three more. Eight. Nine. Ten. All done. Great. Good job. Okay, we're gonna go back to the mat. We're gonna go back to the mat for another variation of the side plank. This time, we're gonna do it on your hand and your knees. What you're gonna do this time is you're gonna move during the movement, so you're gonna come up and sit down. Come up and sit down. This is the movement. So we're working the external and the internal obliques on the side that's facing the mat as well as the side of our hips here. So I've got my gluteus minimus and medius here helping me. Now, if I wanna make it harder, kick that leg out and come back down. Kick that leg out. This really makes the exercise more difficult. Well, the hand where it's nice and comfortable up here. If you've got a dumbbell, hold the dumbbell. Let's do three more. Two, one. Switch sides. So these are full body movements. Full body movements will burn the most calories and also will make you strong all over. So we're not targeting specifically your abs, even though I'm sure you'd love to have a flat stomach at this point after having had a baby. But the more calories you burn, the overall effect is greater. Basic math. These exercises really drive up your heart rate, so we stay in a target zone the whole time. Exhale as you kick. Let's do five more. One, two, I'm supposed to count down, I think. Three, two, last one, one. Great. Okay, we're almost finished. Last ex two exercises to go. We're gonna do some glute bridges. So lay down on your mat, put your heels close to your butt. Hands are nice and relaxed on the floor. Put your knees together and feel like you're squeezing a ribbon between your thighs here. We want to keep our thighs together. This is a move from Pilates, but it's great for your pelvic floor and your hips. Okay, we're going to squeeze our abdominals, our lower abdominals. We're going to tilt our pelvis back and you're going to keep that movement. Push up into a bridge. Go as high as you can. And then come back down. Nice and slow. We're going to do this 10 times. Exhale as you push up. And then slowly come back down. Try to come back down vertebra by vertebra. Hope you can hear me. I'm panting a little bit. Got all warm. That's the point, right? I don't like the sweat. I don't really like the sweat, but does the job, it's good. Okay, that's four, we've got six more to go. Three more, pop up the movement, feel your glutes squeezing in. You feel this in the front of your thighs also. Last one, and down. Okay, give a little stretch just for good measure. 
reach out to the lower back. Okay, now we're gonna just end. Our last exercise in this workout is just some pelvic tilts. And that's to kind of wake up and remind our abdominals where they should be. So, make your hands into a triangle. Place your thumbs together over your belly button. The palms of your hands should be sitting on top of your hip bones. And I want you to contract your lower abdominals and tilt your pelvis back. Don't use your legs. Don't feel anything in your legs. I want this completely still. We're only talking about abdominals. Hold. Two, three, four, and then gently relax. So if you see my lower back, right now I can put my hands through and wiggle my fingers. And when I'm contracted, exhale in, exhale out when you do that. I can't get my hand through. So my lower back is flat on the mat. Now I'm relaxing. We're gonna do this five more times. Inhale, exhale. Contract your lower abdominals, hold, two, three, four, and exhale, release, inhale, exhale, contract, lower back is imprinting onto the floor, hold, two, three, four, and release. Work at your own pace, two, three, four, and release. Last time, exhale, two, three. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching. Try to do this video two to three times a week for about two to three weeks. That will give you a great foundation, after which you can start adding more resistance, doing the more difficult exercises, and getting back into the routine that you did, that you did when you were pregnant or even before you were pregnant. But right now we're focusing on restoring some strength in your core and your abdominal and your pelvic floor region, and as well as rebuilding strength in your shoulders, in your lower body, things that will make mothering a new baby much easier. So I hope you enjoyed the video and subscribe to my channel, check back for more. Thanks, see you later.